and continue? Yes, sir. Y'all ready? You good? Yep. All right. <clears throat> What up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Black Blasphemy, the show that y'all love to hate. I am Patrick Cloud. Leo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. I am the anomaly Will Farrow. Shout out I to am... our guest today, oh. man. My bad. I was, I was, I was gonna give you a little drum. No, roll. I was about to pop you in like Jody. I thought he was like, ooh, hand me a ready. Like, we got the hilarious Chris CP Powell, man. What, what's, what's going on? Man, everything is going on, man. I've been loving this show, bro. And it's like, it's like, it's weird, man. Like a lot of times I, I get done watching this show and I'd be mad at y'all. I, I'd be like, oh man, you know? And uh, I had to look deep in myself and find the blaspheme within me. And I think I found it, you know? Well, it's funny because it. all it takes, for some reason, I'm, I'm horrible at casting. And uh, <laughs> it takes me talking to somebody. Like, I feel like you said something to me and I was just like, he would be great on Black Blasphemy. Yeah, I have a very strong opinion. <laughs> See, what it is is being an only child. I just, I, I, I got a chance to like or unlike stuff in peace. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody was ever telling me like, oh, that's lame. You got to do this. You know, like if I had like a big bro, you probably would have like formed me. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, you know, I was like, yeah, I don't like liver, and I think it's bullshit. You know, and I don't, you know, it's <laughs> like, you know, I had strong stances on stuff. You know, so. Once yeah. you get used to judgment and criticism, it's really nothing you won't say unless it just you think it'll be taken the wrong way. If it's mm. your honest opinion, it's just like, I mean, what are you going to do with that besides yeah. accept it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Big if fact. you guys don't know the game, uh, there are four categories. We got food, we got music, we got movies and television, and we have general culture. So what we're going to do is we're going to take turns choosing a category. Uh, our, our, our Zordon, Kadeem, is going to put up some blasphemous thing that one of us thinks and we have to figure out who it is and then judge them accordingly. But like, you know, no, not real judgment. This is judgment free zone, okay? But judgment. All right, so who wants to be the brave soul that goes first? Let me go first, Patrick. Will Farrow. okay. Let me go Farrow first. Has stepped. Will Farrow is first, play. got it. Uh, um, let me go with. Let's start off with food. CP's a phenomenal man on the grill. If y'all have seen him, man, he be using some OG tactics. Even I know when you hey, saw man. when I saw the kebab with the lemon, I was like, "But see, Kadeen, hey, my, my, my bad, my bad." I was about, hey, see, I don't want Kadeen to throw no picture of it unless he could find it. What I did was okay. I hollowed out. I squoze a lemon. You got to keep that lemon intact. Yeah. Okay, you can't let that lemon tear on the side. You have to, this is almost a titty squeeze or like a lemon squeeze trigger. You, you're not trying to break the titty and you don't want to break the gun. You're trying to be effective. <laughs> trying to be palm, effective. Got, you got a palm pitch. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just hunga, hunga, you <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? So I got all the juice out and then you open the lemon back up. It has all these little chambers. You want to take a fork and just twist and open those chambers up, right? Put a little bit of seasoning, like whatever rub you're using for the barbecue, save a little bit of that for the inside top of the lemon. This is really happening. A little bit of your, your rub, and then you cover that with butter. Like fill the lemon up with butter. Put that on top of your kebabs and let that smoke. What that's going to do is make sure that your shit never gets dry. Mm. Real quick, though, we have a whole show to do. Okay, uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> and the <laughs> fact somebody <laughs> just wrote... <laughs> Uh, Italian food is better than soul food. Okay, so before we, before we, we keep go. going, uh, we're, we're forever adjusting the show uh, as we go, see which what's comfortable and what's not. Uh, so we are going back to the way where uh, whoever picks the category um, gets to vote for who it is. Yes. Uh, so we, this, this is not what Will said, um, even though I can see it being something that Will said. Was, exactly. I, uh, I feel like... <laughs> So this is between myself, Cleo, and CP. Yes, but we, we, we will still have the two minute timer on there though. Yeah, yes. so let's throw, up, let's throw up the timer while I get my thoughts together. Here's my thing. This is not me. However, I'm not mad at this. Hmm. You, don't mad at this. you agree with this statement? I'm not saying I agree. I'm just not mad at this it's really the better if he's if it, if it said italian food is as good as soul food i'd be all in better italian food is very good 
I don't know what you guys should, are gonna do with what I just put on the table. But, but no, 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 Pat. I don't believe that. Is I... better than soul food? That makes no sense. Why does bro, that make no sense? Think, bro, it ma- think about all the, look at CP every single time he's on Instagram. Look at all the great food he's putting up there. Well, I can't, That's I don't think- better looking food than fettuccine Alfredo, bro. The, how mad you got is why I think it's you, number one. Right. <laughs> Cause I'm sitting here, I'm like, man, as it's crazy. I kind of agree with Pat. It's like, it's not me, but what I see in it is that it's like, okay, let's break down these foods, shall we? Um, okay, how often in the year, okay, did you have Italian food in that week? It's 52 weeks in a year. That's how many I'm times at. in that week did you have Italian food? Right? I, this is a free country. I'm How many times did you have soul food? Here, here's the thing I will here's the thing I will say to give fair to all of you. Second in line for black people outside of soul food, if you ain't cooking that, is Italian because it's the easiest thing to that's cook. That's why I don't ma- that's why I'm not yeah. mad at it. So I'm not mad at it, but I'm just trying to see who would say it's better. How about Mr. I don't prefer I prefer Kraft macaroni and cheese over homemade? Whoever said Ooh. that is not respecting soul food like Real. that. He said ribs overrated. Come on, dog. You know he ribs soul. overrated. I didn't. I, I didn't know that. Soul. Pat said wow. ribs. I want to jump out of my square, you Pat. Just, you, you, you just you're attacking me for that, man. You it's seem to be you. learned. You I have know. a chalkboard full of things behind you. Oh, this no is recipe. hard. Because I, I because I want to go well it can't be CP because you see all of his videos but we've known that that may be just a distraction to say mm-hmm. that he may just be like yeah I cook this but I I prefer spaghetti why well, would I you could just see cook stuff you don't like he just, didn't say he didn't like it he didn't ever talk about he don't like it but hey who well, he'd rather be out there on the grill it does not say soul food is bad or trash in this sentence. It doesn't. It says mm, Italian food that's is true. better. I think that I think that in acknowledging how good that's Italian food is, I think that you know what I'm saying this is like some Jordan LeBron stuff right here. <laughs> For real. That's why this I'm not Jordan mad. Jordan LeBron. All right, Will, give your give your case. All right. All right, my final selection. I'm gonna have to go with Cleo only because. I can see him saying as you may not have as much soul food as you do Italian. Because I will say, I think I consume more Italian food than I do soul food on a weekly basis. And so I can see Cleo saying some stuff like that. Y'all, y'all listen, bro. Just because I have a very diverse palate and I've had amazing food over the years. Diverse is a I'm strong getting, reach. I'm, just gonna dive I'm getting tired of y'all. <laughs> I'm getting tired of you guys always gunning for me. And you guys are, you know, 99.99% of the time you guys are wrong because it's not me. It's not me, Will. It's not me. It's not me. Hold that. Hold that. Welcome to the (laughs) Pterodon. Just, oh my God. And you see, and I said it too. I said it. I was hey, like, hey, I love hey, you too. Hey, can I can I blow a couple of minds real quick? Here's what here's what here's what two blunts took me down the path of thinking. You know what the cornerstone of soul food is, in my opinion, is macaroni and cheese. Okay. That is Italian. I'm gonna go ahead and sip water. Well, I mean. Oh. Well, no, I don't. I don't accept that because it, it's all in what you do with it. You can say that the cornerstone of many things is rice. I don't agree, Pat. Ribs no. are ribs uh, are ribs. Chicken. You think that Asian rice is Spanish rice? Spaghetti is spaghetti. Pizza is pizza. Even if you put buffalo chicken on a pizza, you understand that the construct of pizza is Italian. No matter how much you want to soul food a pizza up, that said pizza is called the pizza. So then how would you explain rice? Because they do rice in, in Latin America completely different than Asia. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I look at rice the same way that I look at fish tacos. At, at some point, anything you put on it became a taco. Anything you put on rice is that rice. Rice is an Asian word. We can't stop saying that. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. They decided what to call it because they grew it. Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese was developed. Macaroni and cheese is Italian. Italy. 
It was developed in Southern Italy, which also is the reason why people bake them because that's where they got it from. Because pizza is completely different than what we do. The origin, I don't know if the origin changes the entire culture. Like, like Italian food, yeah, okay. Even though both might come, macaroni might be started in uh, Italy. I don't think that soul food and soul food macaroni and cheese is not the same thing as Italian macaroni and cheese. How is it not though? It's because it's literally the ingredients are the name. Yeah, but isn't it all in how you make it though? No, no it's not, it's Pat. Not. But if, if what you're saying is true, then some of the things that we hold near and dear to our heart that we came from Africa with, like dancing and little shit like that, even though they made different variations of it, we still take a little bit of credit for that, you know? I don't know if I agree with that because there's chicken in a bunch of different cultures, but how we do chicken is specifically part of ours. And I don't think- Right, but how we do chicken is also like de described in the name, right? Fried chicken. That's the that's that's the synonymous chicken. See, that's that's a that's a knock on the method and not a knock on the actual bird. Chicken is fine, but fried chicken, it's fried chicken. That's you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's literally said that. It's never said that black people just like chicken. You know, I think everybody loves chicken. Yeah. But fried that's chicken a, is the stigma. And with that too, now that also brings up the thing that soul food may not actually be a genre like that. It may just be a style because you have American and Italian, those are the genre of foods that you make, but mm. the style is soul food. Well, then other country, uh, other cultures do greens and different version of collard greens, but how we do it is specific to soul food. So I, right. I just don't Whoever really... did them first, whoever did them first is kind of yeah. like, that's the cornerstone of it. So I think, I think that's like an African dish. I think that comes from where we come from. I think we brought that style and I think that the world, you know, has adopted that. Although I don't know if I agree with this specific point. It, it, it still doesn't really show the argument. So why why do you think Italian food is better? Well, than because That's when I look point. at it like that, then, you know, like I do with any debate, I break it down to how many strong points they have, right? Now, if you look at soul food across the board, a lot of those things, everybody doesn't always really fuck with. As a matter of fact, there's different variations of soul food on everybody's plate, say around Thanksgiving. But what's the constant? The constant is usually the macaroni and cheese and then whatever meat that they're serving, right? But then what's you break the it down like this. You can't have without. If I were to macaroni, if I were to give macaroni as a point to Italian food, then now there's, there, there's not really a standard to stand on other than seasoning and little shit like that, that sets it apart. But I mean, Italian food stands up. It's actually, it really stands up to soul food. And I love soul food to death. But when you break it down, if I had to break it down a gun to my head to save my family and break it down with real points, then I gotta, you know what I'm saying? Not, not even to mention the health benefits. With, it, with, it, with it being a strong contender in taste, the health benefits. And let's be honest too, Italian is more of a go-to for all of us than anybody, especially how busy we are. Think about any time you be like trying to really impress a date, what, what you cook, shrimp Alfredo. You ain't whipping up collard greens, mashed potatoes and chicken. <laughs> like you're not doing that. Like when you need something to eat and you just like, man, I'm hungry. Let me go get some lasagna. Let me get some spaghetti and meatballs. This like, is all true. This yeah, is all so. I don't be you know eating. what I bought today? You know what I bought today? I bought a lasagna that is made of all taco layers, right? It's a Mexican lasagna. It looks so delicious. I smoke before I went to the grocery store. I gotta stop doing it. I gotta smoke when I come out of the grocery store. Yeah. So before I go in, I was like, oh my God, it's the most wonderful. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up, um, you know what I'm saying? I, I ended up buying it. I can go get it if you guys wanna see it. This is a Mexican lasagna. Show me after. Show me. I out. will. For sure. I'll take a picture. Anyway, I said wow. this and uh, yeah, tweet me, tweet me, tweet me, beat me up, tweet me up. I don't, I don't think that's a, I don't think that's offensive. I think oh, you broke wow. it down in a way that's like, you know, I don't be eating greens or yams on a regular, you know, day like that. So the first popped up. Yeah. I was like, I don't disagree with this. I was oh, like, man. I don't know about better, but like from an everyday standpoint, stack them up dish by dish. I think if, if they had a versus battle, uh, yeah. Italian food has a versus battle. Yeah. What? And yeah. like two grandmas are bringing out dishes and shit. <laughs> just one more thing to add to that. They all, in a way, stick out on their own. Like with soul <laughs> food, it got to kind of be collective. You know, outside of like fried chicken and stuff, everything else got to be kind of in the collective. Pizza's nobody, yeah, nobody. Everybody like, in the comments, sometimes when you're gambling, you got to take that under. 
You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you get a hunch. You know, I got a hunch about Italian. I took it. So there it is. Yeah, there it is. All right. Well, CP, you've definitely seen like how we go about <laughs> stuff like that. Would you like want to do the honors of going next? Category. <sighs> For sure. Um, so you chose food. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, culture, straight up black culture. All right. General culture it is. Black culture. Got it. Now I just can't stop thinking of them actually having a versus battle and an Italian Come food on. playing. Can you they see play those pizza. little grannies? Imagine them playing pizza and everyone goes crazy like, yo, pizza, pizza pie in this bitch. Oh, that's hilarious. Duh. Like, <laughs> oh, pizza featuring mozzarella cheese, uh, basil. <laughs> Both food is sweating because he only has right. yams and, and rolls left. They got the oh, remix with fuck around, bring that peach cobbler out. Peach cobbler fuck around and shut shit down. They're like, oh, shit. Niggas who get excited over shoes are hilarious. <laughs> wow. First oh, of all, wow. as a nigga who gets excited over shoes, I'm hurt. I'm a fan. I, oh. I, I feel triggered. Uh, I missed out on the Travis Scott Air Maxes. I, I was like, wow, I feel kind of bad, you know? Did you wait in line? Say what? Did you wait in line? In a virtual Jack? line? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I, I On my phone, social distancing, oh. you know, I tried to get into the, the raffle to get them. Yeah. The sneakers out. Um, but, so but have the you waited in line before? Yeah, I have waited in line before. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you what. I have some. I have some cement threes on my feet right now. Literally, black or white. Right now. No cap. Black or white. Black cement threes. No classics. Cap. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Nike Air. I was at the mall, and I I'm 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 walking past Foot Locker, and I see there's a line. I'm like, oh shit, is that for the threes? They're like, yeah, it's like the 3 p.m. joint where people who didn't come pick them up, you line Can't back up and get the 3 p.m. joints, right? So I'm like, all right, um. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna just hop in line. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just hop in line. It's $200, but I'm gonna hop in line. I get to the front of the line, I'm like, yeah, y'all got an eight and a half. They was like, uh, yeah, we do. Walked in, got the threes. I waited in line maybe, maybe 23 minutes. Mm. Um, and probably got some of my top sneakers ever. Um, Love it. Off top, I, you know, I appreciate Cleo's energy. I appreciate uh, Will's uh, How much did they overall cost? excitement that I'm experiencing. I'm feeling a vibe from Pat. I, you know, I. <laughs> I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, know, I think, no, no, the here's story. the thing. I think, I think, you know, he has, he, when you have those people with like colored dreads who can watch anime, and, you know, you look like a super saying marijuana dread, you know? And so what it is, is I like that. I feel like you have other things that you can get excited about. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like when they come out with those new, Bees that look like teeth that you could put on the end of your dreads, <laughs> go to the beach, and you know, and, and you have also have a necklace of them. And I feel like you don't, you know, the the Jordans drop. And come to think of, it, I've never seen Pat in any shoes that I like. I've seen you in shoes that I feel like, man, he's he is killing the I environment the by having those on, by you having those recycled. You, know what you ain't never seen me in the sevens, the retro sevens. First of all, retro sevens are trash. Which that even was, let me that go was CP. further. That, that let me go CP. further. That was <laughs> retro sevens. What happened was no, no, no. Jordan was too busy winning when the retro seven. He, he he didn't come to that meeting and they dropped Jordan sevens looked like lingerie to me. I would never ever wear a seven. I hate, I hate the sevens. I got the thirteens. Yeah, Pat, Pat, Pat said this. Pat this said was this. the most downhill discussion for you. As soon as he said the team shells, all of us picture like that is definitely what that's I Pat. See yeah. Pat wear. And then you were like, I got the sevens. And I'm like, well, you just, you're like, this was like the like a lawyer after you be like saying something you shouldn't have. Like, fuck, you know you fucked up. You know you fucked up, right? Of all the, of all the numbers I could have picked, I didn't. Oh. I picked the. I picked the numbers that were ugly. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you picked you like trash. Literally, literally oh, sevens. Man. I imagine niggas wear sevens in prison to look sexy for other niggas. Like, yeah, I got these sevens on. There's not one legit color. Don't you remember way. you told oh, me you love me, baby? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That's that's you know that's 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 how sevens come through, Pat. Damn it! 
Yeah, you so, said this. Seven and, think, and the 13 are pretty ugly too, Pat. I gotta be honest. 13s are ugly too? 13s are ugly. I like 13s. I got a pair of 13s. Hold on. They shrink. I got a pair of 13s. You gotta go ones, 11s, 13s. Oh, he got wheat Timberland 13s. Uh-huh. Thing? Okay, so I should have led with 13. Those are dope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would have never it's said the 13s it. that go. So CP, your Pat is your final pick. Pat is my final answer. All right. All right. First of all, first of all, Kadeem, really? <laughs> if CP was the one that it wasn't, this one was so obvious. It was so obvious. That's why I just started laughing when this came up. This, oh, they uh, love shoes. I no, 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 no. I love shoes, but I will say, Pat, I am in complete agreement with this. This shit is hilarious. I will never, I used to work at the Galleria. The simple fact of seeing people camped out Waiting to drop 300 Larry. on a shoe, hilarious. and I'm like, you don't even have a car. Fucking hilarious. And so the priority so, game is fucked up. I and guess. so hilarious to me that as a businessman, I took pure advantage because I used to make shirts and I'd be standing right outside that fucking footlocker, like, yo, you got them great fives, you know you need a shirt. Man, let me run that. How much? Forty dollars. Bet I got you. Take your dumb ass home, man. Yeah. Yes. I feel bad. This customer is probably like, hey, I bought a shirt from this guy, man. He's really, really cool. Wait, what? This video will be on his hands, CP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, got, I see you got the new car mines, bro. What you going, what you doing? Here what go you, the thing, you, man. I didn't, <laughs> as a, now, nah, here's my backstory, right? Why I get excited, Will and Pat and Cleo. If, if, the, when I was a kid, bro, I didn't have, you know, a single mom, I wouldn't oh, dream of uh, breaking her heart crazy. by asking her for some shit that she couldn't afford. Yeah, so why would I even do that? And I'm, I promised it, myself, I told my wife, I'm when I get it. on and when I get the kind of money that I can do shit without it hurting, I'm probably gonna get every pair of Jordans I ever wanted. Yep. And so that's I what I did. So my priority is act. Pat, yeah, special. play that, play that, play that Afrocentric uh, <laughs> <laughs> violin you're playing. Will, yes, play that, play that. You, you, you damn tyrant. Yeah, you <laughs> fucking customer. Yeah, I can't wait till my customer get the fuck out of my face so I can get their forty dollars. Forty dollars. I'll treat them like a bitch when I get their forty dollars. No, but it's just those though. Like, 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 let me be out. It is just those. Now, unlike yourself and like my, uh, like my uh, brother. Like he loves Air Maxes. And the reason being is because like when you hear the history and the story of why they like them, those I'm like, all right, y'all cool. I don't mind y'all. I like that because you're like a collector. Just like how CP said, CP ain't finna go buy some wheat Jordans before paying his light bill. Right. So yeah. I can't knock him for that. But right. the ones that do, they are fucking hoes. Absolutely. Like, I'm, I'm trying, think, I'm trying to think Will said this. What's going on here? No, no, no. I'm caught red-handed. This was okay, obviously, cool, 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 this was okay, obviously cool. me. But I agree. I feel like there are there are parts of this culture that are fucked up and hilarious. I mean, you know, people kill each other over these shoes and these yeah, cultures. Yeah. So it's like, obviously, it's not a bad thing if you like shoes. You know, I'm not saying if you like shoes, that's dumb. You know, I just feel like people that there's there's parts of that culture that I find hilarious. Yeah. Isn't it always funny when somebody get killed, how people justify other shit that, that, that they could have did to the person that's not as bad as killing them? Man, you ain't got stump his head in. You ain't got to kill him. <laughs> Shoot you the man the in the ass. Not what the, you got to kill him. I bro, you, you ain't got to shit to nobody. How about that? See, All right, who's next? Pat admitted earlier that his first pair of Jordans were actually the Carmelos. Wow. Hold on, mine too. The only thing worse than that is if they were the CP3s. That, that, that was your first pair too? But I have a reason. I wore a size 14 and those back, and I lived in Port Arthur, Texas. So those were the only ones I could get in my size. I thought everything was bigger in Texas. Everybody should be wearing uh, a motherfucking 14. Not, not for Jordan, <laughs> not for Jordan. But you see everybody, like you got a whole bunch of people that wear a size 14 and they yeah. only give you like three pair. You know what's crazy? Yeah. My best friend and college roommate wore a 13 in, in college and I used to just get any shoe I wanted. And anytime he found a 13, no matter what it was, he was like, oh my God, Look at these. These yeah. the uh these the prices right, Bob. Uh, Bob something, you know. Like nigga, bro, that's not sweet, bro. You got the Bob hopes, but man, you, you, can find, you had to bro. you had to go with what you could get, man. Like yeah, when we I had when it. they had the the two for eighty nine and fucking champs with the Reeboks, it was like, oh, but they come in size fourteen. I'm like, all right, I got to make these work somehow. No. So either yeah, you, you like gotta start to a lot of cash money and say, fuck Listen, it, man, you know Pat wears Uggs, moccasins, slip-ons. 
He wears he wears slides. I don't wear Uggs. They, you don't wear Uggs? I can oh. see you in a pair of Uggs. I can see, oh, yeah. I can see you in some hip shoes. Like if you ever run out of blunt wraps, you could just roll up one of your shoes. Hang on, Cleo, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Cleo be dressing like Kingdom Hearts. He be having straps <laughs> on his on, <laughs> on his jeans and shit. He's freshly animated up every time. We ain't calling me Ugg boy. <laughs> hey, you you do look like you be set to go on an adventure wait most of the time. <laughs> Hey, my anime niggas hold cars so sweet. Next time I play spades, I gotta hold a car like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a leg? <laughs> At least I'm heavy with the tech streetwear side. Pat that is not even his realm. He got his own style. Wait a minute, bro. What is tech streetwear? Is that like you, you got a hoodie that they got an iPad pocket on the front? Like you can put Pretty much. here. Pretty much. Yeah, you you right now, the oh. Nike version of that hoodie is considered tech wear. The okay. Nike. Uh, uh, CP, you remember you remember uh, Infinity War? The, yeah. Uh, what Robert Downey Jr. wore before you first saw him going to Nano Iron Man suit? Yeah. That's tech streetwear. Tech okay. wear, tech okay. street. Okay. Tech wear. That's, That's also sweet. sweet. <laughs> Who's next, man? Yeah, let's keep it going. Uh, it's up to Pat and Cleo. I'll go. Right, Max, get over here. All right, what you got? We got movies. Wait, movies and music left. left. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's go with music. All right, music it is. Uh, I I I mean I wish I could stop this right now because I, I feel like I gotta switch one of these questions. Okay. Hmm. Quick switch. Yeah. Quick. Not not that. I just want to. Hey, I'll just, we'll just do this one. This will work. Hmm. Where are we going? Between Will myself. <laughs> <laughs> I like Solange's music more than Beyonce's. Hmm. Okay. That's going to upset quite a few bees. Now, hey. now listen, let me go ahead and say this sure now. You want to do this? Look, I already know. Look, normally, the Texas thing, y'all it be y'all already know. Y'all, I, I pulled that card. Ah, Texas. Already. Already listen, trying to get out of here. You're a suspect. You're a There's suspect. just some things in Texas you can't say. And I'm just letting you know, this is one of the things I will never, ever have written down. So. First of all, Salons is a man beater. And so I'm never going to be uh, a, a person who, um, who- I've never heard that before. Yeah. Oh, man you know, because beater. Because if, if you think about it, people was like Chris Brown beat up and I'm never going to support, I'm never going to support Salons because she, she, she beats men and we know for a fact she got caught. Ray Rice lost his job in the elevator. Salons, yeah, in the elevator. She, she, yeah. All right, let's start the timer. Let's do this. All right, this is a very interesting. Are we sure we're gonna do this? This is very easy. It was not me. I believe not it was me. Will, because I I forgot Salons existed, and I feel like you being from Texas, you're you're like, oh yeah, Salons, and maybe you popped her CD in, and it was like, beat niggas up on the floor, penthouse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> beat I'll, niggas I'll, up on the floor. I never heard that. Right. <laughs> I only know one song, and that was "Don't Touch My Hair," and that was just because it was famous. And look at your hair. If a nigga touched your hair, I, hey, you are you are digging the grave. I mean, I think Pat's the same way. Shit, look, he what? got he got dreads. I'm I've literally, embarrassingly, have been to a Beyonce concert, and um, yes, I was invited to one, and I was like, man, I don't think I'm even gonna know the songs like that. She got hits. I was surprised how many songs that I knew just from passing. Like, <laughs> but see, but Pat, you do the like type of nigga that salons would fuck. Bingo. Right. right. You like you like type of nigga. Anything. You like no, nah, cause salons like niggas like you, who you you're a little salonji in yourself. I feel Solange like is dope. Solange is dope, <laughs> but you have to. But putting her catalog catalog next to Beyonce is is, is wild. Yeah. But I'm just trying to think if I was from Houston. I would have never said this out loud unless I had a show that was specific to saying stuff like that would be blasphemous. Okay. So okay. This, this, for me, this I'm not in the beat, so I wouldn't even consider okay. this blasphemous. Yeah. Okay, first of all, hey, let's, Pat, let's, did you let's... hold on, hold on, hold on, Will? B yeah. Before you try to, yeah, chill out for a second. Okay. Did y'all peep how he chimed in to tell us how much of a blaspheme it is where he's from. See, where we're from, we're like, we're talking about their sisters, I don't get it. They're happy and they're singing and they're, you know what I'm saying? But, 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 but wait a minute. But, but Will chose to break it down to us and say, this is really bad to say. 
If you that was the right. first thing he said. Now I, I would never okay. say right. something this blasphemous. All right, can I say my case? Can I say my you case? Tw- you got twenty seconds. Let's, let's let's talk about Pat. First of all, Pat oh, said no, the, the timer is over. No, no. Okay, so I'll be quick. Pat said he was embarrassed to go to Beyonce concert. The timer's over, so you'll be quick. He likes Solange. So clearly, this stills go by because nobody said her music was better. You say you like Solange music more than Beyonce, which is what you basically said explaining your story. Seems like he had a lot to say after the clock reached zero. He so, had. I'm just, I'm just, I, I didn't get a chance to explain my case and everybody else got to tell the story. With that being said, I got to go CP on this one. What? I'm going CP on this one. CP was a little too. Wow. Throwing up the assist to help make sure that the spotlight was on Pat and Will. He Your boy's so I'm trying round. to give you. I'm trying to. I'm trying to tell you. Look at uh, Will up there. Look at Will up nothing there. Nothing in this round at all. He didn't That's explain anything. Threw what? it at me. Pat got to talk. Pat even threw it back at me too. He never explained anything regarding this stuff. And he threw the stuff at Pat too about you look like Solange. Fuck you. You know. Will nervously like? slid an explanation in when the we were out of time. Also. She don't keep a neat house. And I know she don't keep a neat house because I know people who know her. So therefore, I know I would never say that they're like this. Hey, it was not me. Not me at all. Of course like, it wasn't him. Well. This was not me. This was, I'm telling you, you should have. He followed hey, his instinct. Sam. I told you, oh, Pat, is one of, oh, Pat is one of Solange's thoughts, and she will beat his ass if he ever said. Pat, he's, what he's, are you yeah. doing? Everything he said yeah. showed that he would write this. Brown liquor, brown liquor, brown skin, brown skin, brown whip, brown, all black, cool. Ooh, that Playboy Cardi feature. Come Cleo, on. Cleo, Come think, on. Of, think of one song you could see Pat listening to from Beyonce. Like, yo, that's your man's. <laughs> no. That's I'm your sold. man. I'm told. Let me clarify I'm something. Sold. Let me clarify something. It says, now this is the part that I added to save myself. It says, I like exactly. Solange's music more than Beyonce's. I did not say Solange was a better artist. We all know who'd win that versus, okay? That's actually be a very quick versus. Uh, <laughs> um, it also did not bash Beyonce's music. It said, if I had the playlists of both and I was riding in a car by myself, I am putting on Solange over Beyonce. Okay. The beehive is like, uh, release the murder hornets, please. <laughs> Listen, this they is like, this is, to that crib, bro. this is going to be history in the making. The Cloud Village versus the beehive. Run like, it up. You know this is coming. Run That's also a quick versus. A bunch but... <laughs> of little TikTok chicks attacking bees. <laughs> <laughs> but all I'm saying is the beehive, the sensible ones shouldn't be upset. I like what I like. Y'all attacking people who just like other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they do. Not. Bzz, bzz, bring yeah. it. <laughs> somebody, somebody wrote that her shoe was untied. She should look out. And they just flooded their whole profile with bees. Hilarious. <laughs> All right. Well, well, yeah, get my engagement up. <laughs> All right. All right. I do think I, I do think Solange will whoop, will whoop Beyonce's ass, but that's just only based on the fact that footage. Yeah, the footage. The, the, the footage I've seen. Punch yeah, of power, luck, spitting. I wish the we punch could watch kicks that she video. did. Then again, too, though, Beyonce could have taught her that. She is the oldest. And she was just watching like a like a boss, just like, yeah, that's what I taught her. Yeah. Is there is. any chance we could watch that video together right now? Do we have yeah. the time? And did she did, did, yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. Can we watch she it? Right say now? dance a lot with her crotch I forward. Pull it up. I feel like she pull it up. Yeah, let's she, do let's do the last one first. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we got what? Uh movies now? Uh yeah, movies. Movies. And it's Pat's turn. Okay. Um all right, let's go hey, with. God, I'm sick of defending myself. <laughs> I believe, y'all. Uh, you accused me of that. Mm, mm. I could CP. I could have sworn, bro. See, man, you Pat. Believe, I didn't think Pat would be able to throw himself under the bus for that one. He did. Man, that was tough. I told y'all I was listening to Pat. And y'all just used. See, that's why I kept going. I the timer's up. The timer. Yeah, Will up. got nervous, and we all jumped on it. <laughs> 
I've never found Eddie Murphy's stand-up specials funny. All right, well, I got mine for the episode. I'm sure people are gonna attack me for Beyonce's. Whoever this is, be, get ready. I can't see this. I can't see this being the stand-up comedian in the group. I just, I can't see it. Yeah, I feel like a stand-up comedian would at least respect it, even if he didn't find it funny. You're or, correct, Pat. And this is where I enjoy a delicious grape high chew while you all discuss this. Although this could be a, just a major throw from the stand-up comedian. He could be putting a veil over, bro. Because again, uh, our, our comedy is subjective. So you just may not have found Eddie for you. Damn. Will did it. <laughs> this, is, this is either, this is what's fucked up. This is either clearly not CP or absolutely CP. And I don't know how to just- <laughs> that's, that's, that's the same for anybody though, Pat. This is clearly not anybody or possibly anybody. <laughs> but you, you right specifically. Now, this is how he really defended himself right now. He on the back, yo, he back and retreating. It's Eddie weird. Murphy. Eddie Murphy's one of my favorite comedians. Um, you know, I think that I I do think that um I don't think that his specials uh raw and delirious, although they're classically very, very funny. I think that similar to what we saw with Tupac and Biggie, where it's like music was able to get better than that. I All think right, that well, I only got two minutes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I only got two minutes. I feel like you, you you explained your people are people are funnier than that. Dave, I think Dave Chappelle right now is funnier than both of those specials. But I didn't say this. Okay, you you bashed him in your in your. I didn't bash anything. He bashed and complimented at the same time. Funnier. It's a so compliment. Was a, that was a very underhanded comment. Yeah. I, but I I feel like you said that because that's actually what you think, which means this isn't you. Yeah. Now for the other two, I just feel like one of you guys could just think this. I think it's Cleo. What the shit? Fine, what I think is Will. Raw is one of my favorite stand-up specials. Name one joke premise, real quick. The hamburger. You, and then the meat wad dough, putting it here. I want the McDonald's hamburger. Man, we got, we got meat. Cleo, you know any jokes? And then they take the a big Sasquatch. Thing. You and your Sasquatch wife, you are coming here, Eddie. Oh, you had one ready. I, oh, one of you guys is a great liar. What, oh, whoa, 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 Pat, Pat, what did the Sasquatch say, Cleo? What, what was the Sasquatch's famous line? The Sasquatch's wife. What was her famous line? <laughs> Timer's up, Pat. Oh! <laughs> yeah. I know it. Will, do you know it? I don't know it. Okay. All right, well. <laughs> Based on what she said was Goonie Goo Goo. What I, based on what I, I've seen, now I feel like neither of you guys are really fans of him. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like, I, I guess I gotta say Cleo. I gotta say that this was Cleo. I'm really getting sick and tired of doing Black Blasphemy with you guys because everything y'all wanna throw it my way. Everything. It always, it Cleo's the first suspect, always. Yeah, he did. Well, I mean, if it's a will, bro, it's obviously will because it wasn't. It was me. I said <laughs> Eddie Murphy stand-up specials weren't all that. Let me tell you something. I Delirious, you. bro. I went back and watched both of them a month ago. And oh. I said, this is what put Eddie on? So what was it? Was it the timing? Was it, was it the jokes of the moments? What was it that made Eddie that just boom, boom? People loved him. He became a Hollywood sensation, bro, Ooh. off of those two stand-up specials. Ooh. That's where I stand with it. I didn't find them funny. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Wow. Wow. Air it out. Air the comedy room out. Old heads are like, Aah! I knew it. When he said the Sasquatch, I'm like, who gives the setup? Where's the punch? He said, yeah, the Sas if you're going to choose the Sasquatch wife, Damn it, Cleo. Well, now, full, Sasquatch full, wife, edit. You come in here, you fuck up my shit. Full disclosure, though, never saw Delirious, but I'll watch Raw anytime. Like, I, I, I've never popped in Delirious. Which one is he in the Delirious is good, but you got to watch Raw first. If you watch Delirious first, then you're not. It's, it's like Delirious. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. You got to watch Raw first because 
you know, Raw is when you understand, you know, like that. I think that's like his ultimate special. I think Delirious was just his first special. That was like everybody getting to know him. You know what I'm saying, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Raw was the one. Raw so, was the one. Buddy, how do you feel? Though, right? How do you feel about that? How do you feel about like what, what? What is your answer to that? Like, what did what did that? What did Eddie Murphy do in those special specials that uh, made him who he is today? Who talking to me? Yeah, because I just um, want to know from your perspective what how you feel about that. I think that Eddie Murphy was one of the first like pop culture genius uh, comedians. So like you know it was like he was really tapped into at that time like Raw. The way he talked about different celebrities, Brooke Shields and Michael Jackson and shit like that, that was damn near like, that was like, that's the format that, that people still use to host the Grammys. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he was, he was, that was, that was what kind of, he was the comedian that was above the room. So like, you know, I'm cooler than you. I'm richer than you. I'm this than you. That's where a comedian, you know what I'm saying? Like versus being Punch the lame. Up who was kind of funny. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's, that was the mode that he broke was like, you know, I am, you know, it was, it was that it was like, you know, I can judge you. I can, I can roast anybody. And it's great to be roasted because you see that I have this plethora of characters that I understand where they come from in society. You know, like you just trusted his comedy. He mm -hmm. was the, he was basically the Michael Jordan of comedy. Like he, yeah. that yep. he could, every, every move went in, every joke went over. And you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, every, he was, he, you know, it was deep, you know, cause he did li little other shit, you know, he, he protested the Oscars, you know, people don't really realize that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, everything was, he was, um, because of Richard Pryor, he got a chance to be like, Eddie Murphy was like the spoiled white kid of black comedy. He was the, he was the guy that, you know, he was, he got brought in so early. He was raised by SNL and all these, you know what I'm saying? So he was the, he was the privileged kid who came and like, he was just that he was like fucking Zach from Saved by the Bell to these other comics. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that was like the level of difference of in crowd cool. You know, he was the fucking Rat Pack all to himself. He learned, he learned how to be able to master what people like Richard Pryor couldn't get fully on television mm -hmm. into mainstream being like, oh, okay, we don't mind you saying this and being able to go ha, 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 ha. And being able, like he said, to talk about people like Brooke Shields and stuff like that. And that still be like a recurring thing that's used. Like a whole bunch of comedians, black, white, Hispanic have been, have taken pieces and features from all of the stuff that Eddie's done on Raw and implemented into their comedy as well. So it was just like one of the first things of his kind to like really show like what stand up can be. Okay, great. Good answer. Good long answer. <laughs> I got that answer in six chapters, but I appreciate that. that was, uh, it's good that we got to, you know, uh, champion Eddie. Uh, of um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching another episode of Black Blasphemy. I'm sure you're fuming or just agreeing wholeheartedly because we are getting those messages too. And that's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> let us know as always in the comments what your personal Black Blasphemies are and we will see you guys next time. I love soul food. Mama, I love you. <laughs>